This is the Alpha Cool Ice Bear, and this particular version that I have in my hand is the 120 millimeter version, which is a great standalone unit. However, if you seem to be finding that your CPU generates a little bit too much heat for this 120 millimeter radiator to dissipate, you can add in an additional radiator simply by purchasing one of the Alpha Cool 90 degree uh, quick disconnect. Uh, fitting extension kits. Uh, and this particular one that I have here is the 90 degree version. They also sell straight versions as well. Um, but what we're going to do is install the quick disconnect uh, fitting kit to the 140 millimeter radiator that I have here. This is the new Nexos XT45, the version two uh, of 140 millimeter radiator. And we will add the kit into that and then take the kit, install it into the eyes bear, fill it all up, and then you'd be good to go. So to install the 90 degree extension kit, all you'll have to do is take the threaded G and a quarter end and thread it into uh, the radiator. It might be a little bit easier if you do this outside of the case. However, it can be done while still inside of the case. You'll want to get that nice and snug and do the same with the other side as best as you can. Obviously with the tubing attached to the fitting here, it's a little bit difficult and can sometimes be a little bit challenging to get it to actually start threading. However, once you get it to go, it will turn and snug down there nice. And then to do a final couple turns, what I will use is an adjustable wrench, uh, or you should use uh, the appropriate size wrench for those fittings. And they don't need a whole heck of a lot of torque in order to make sure that they're snug and that they will not, uh, they won't leak. But now that we have this already set and squared, uh, what we can do is then take the eyes bear unit here and disconnect this quick disconnect fitting here. Uh, now when you do that, you will have a little bit of a residual water that comes out. So it's, uh, it's best to have a little bit of paper towel around handy just to soak up what does come out of this fitting. Uh, and you'll grab, you grab the fitting actually right at the middle here. If you try and twist these two ends, it'll actually come apart and that won't be good. What you'll end up doing is uh, just unscrewing this middle part here. And as you can see, a little bit of water comes out, just a little, not too much. And now what we'll do is we will take uh, red and pipe it into blue and then take red and pipe it into blue. Uh, now, sometimes these fittings can be a little bit finicky to get in there, but as long as you have it uh, fully inserted all the way around, uh, when you start to thread it, it will actually it will actually catch and thread like it's supposed to. And then it comes to a complete stop when it's tight. We'll take this blue into red and do the exact same thing on this side. Now that those are nice and tight and connected, uh, you'll actually start to see that your eyes bearer is starting to lose fluid at a pretty, pretty steady pace here. Um, because what it's trying to do is uh, even out the fluid within the two radiators because now, well, you have an empty radiator. Um, so uh, if you have it outside of the case, the best is to hang this up as high as it can so you can get all of the water down into the two radiators before you fill it back up. Um, in order to fill it back up, all you use is uh, a little bit, uh, you can either use a flathead, a coin, or you can use this handy T-handle that the that is included in the new version two radiators. Uh, so you can just get that in there. And you'll have a little bit of water come out, a little, just because of the water that's around the fitting. And then you can go ahead and fill it back up. And you're going to fill it back up uh, and then put the cap back on and hang it up again upside down. Uh, that way the water drips back into the radiators. Uh, and you'll do this process as many times as needed until the ice bear is full. Uh, then it's recommended to run the ice bear outside of the system uh, to make sure that the, the actual system is entirely full. Um, and we will do that process right after we do this whole filling process. 
Good to note that there is a small little O-ring that's in top of the eyes bear here, and that is very important that that needs to stay inside on, on the bottom of that flush part there. You'll see it sit there nice and pretty, but if it doesn't uh, actually stay in there, you might start to leak from the fill part here. Okay, now that I have it mostly full, what I'm going to do is top it off the best that I can all the way to the top, put the cap on it, and then I'm going to connect it to a power source. That way uh, you can actually run the system prior to putting it in, in line with your actual running you know, hardware. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is connect this three fin uh, fan header here uh, to 12 volt power, uh, full blast, and see how much water actually comes out of the ice bear unit. And there you go. Uh, it's pretty much all set and good to go. Um, you can wipe off any of the residual that's from uh, the fill port or anything like that. Um, but as you can see, it's running, it's silent, it's quiet. Uh, it's all been full and everything like that. Uh, now you might have to top it off a little bit more uh, once you get it actually installed. And as you can see, like the water level is a little bit low. Uh, I could add a little bit more in there. Um, but I'd probably do that once I have it either installed or right before I install it. But uh, as you can see, this kit is pretty much all set and good to go. Uh, we were able to install the 90 degree uh, adapters to this radiator here, one of the brand new version two uh, radiators, and implement it into this Eyes Bear system. And if you're looking to obtain one of these products, they're readily available through Alpha Cool's website or through one of their many US distributors uh, and will be a great addition to any enthusiast build.